both arms up, elongating the spine, opening the heart. And when you exhale, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind. Inhale, open the chest in the center. On the exhale, twist from the bottom of the spine. Inhale, elongate. And exhale, twist a little deeper. See if you can align the chin and the back shoulder. And breathe deeply. Complete your exhale, inhale, both arms up, and exhale, release to the side. Now, change the crossing of your legs. It feels a bit unnatural, but so you open both hips. Now, bring your hands forward, and gently start to walk your hand forward. You can go as far as you can, as long as you don't lift the bum from the, from the floor. Forehead reaches towards the floor. Try to keep a long spine. When you breathe, you can feel the upper back opening. Now inhale. And see, bring your hands back. And you can make your way onto all fours. So onto all fours, you have the wrist under the shoulders, the um, knees under the hips, and the feet flat disappearing behind the knees. And we take four rounds of cat cows here. So press on your hands. On an inhale, drop the belly, arch the back, lift the heart, and look up. Exhale, round the upper back, tuck the tailbone in, squeeze the belly, chin in. Again. Inhale, arch the back, lift the tailbone, open the heart. And exhale, round, squeeze the belly, tuck the tailbone in, press the floor away from you. And then slowly inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, look up. And exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, arch the back. Open the heart, look up. And exhale. Press the floor away, tuck the chin in, tuck the tailbone. And you can inhale to a neutral spine. Now extend the right leg back, point your toes. Open the fingers wide, press on your hands, and bend the right knee. Now it's basically the same movement at cat cow, but with the, with the um, Leg lifted. Inhale, arch the back, bring the toes towards the crown of the head. On the exhale, you press the floor, you round the upper back, you bring the knee to the nose. You have to squeeze the abdominal muscles. Inhale, arch the back, bring the toes towards the head. And exhale, round, press the floor, round the upper back, squeeze the belly, knee to nose. Again. Inhale, arch the back, toes towards the crown of the head. And exhale, round, knee to nose, press the floor. Inhale, extend the right leg back. And exhale, tabletop position. And we do the same thing on the left side. Extend the left leg to the back, pointing the toes. Make sure you don't open the hip. Bend the knee. Now inhale, arch the back, the left toes reach towards the crown of the head. On the exit, press the floor away from you, knee to elbow, squeeze the belly. And again, inhale, arch the back, look up. And exhale, round, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, arch the back, toes towards the crown of the head, opening the heart. And exhale, round, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the left leg back. And exhale, tabletop position. Now, I'll show you from the front. Bring your right hand underneath your chest. Inhale, the left arm towards the ceiling, opening the heart, opening towards the side. And on the exhale, left arm between the, left, between the right, bring your shoulders and your ear on the floor. Now lift your right arm up. And see here, 
if you can roll the right arm behind the back and grab the upper left thigh. You can leave your hand on the lower back or really come and grab the upper thigh. Roll your shoulder open and gaze forward. And breathe. Now reach your right arm up, right arm on the floor, press yourself back up, inhale, open, bring the left arm towards the ceiling, and exhale, come back to a tabletop position. Now slide your left hand under the chest, open the fingers wide, inhale, open the right side, right hand towards the ceiling, and on the exhale, right arm behind the left, drop your shoulder and your ear on the floor. Settle here. Now bring your left arm towards the ceiling and see if you can roll the left arm behind the back, grabbing the upper right thigh or resting your hand on the lower back. Roll your shoulder open and gaze forward. And breathe. Now, bring your left arm up, left hand on the floor, press yourself back up, inhale, right arm reaches towards the ceiling, and then exhale, table to position. All right, now, come on your, on your toes and join your elbows. That's something my uh, yoga teacher, Benashi, would make us do all the time. Quite like this pose, it's the Kundalini frog. So bring your hands forward, we do it 10 times. So open the heart, open the chest, gently squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, look up. On the exhale, straighten the legs, the, the heels stay together and look down. Inhale, bend the knees, open the chest, look up. Exhale, straighten the leg, look down. The heels stay in contact, you are on your fingertips and on your toes. Inhale, bend the knees, look up. And exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, look up. Open the heart. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Heels remain in contact and you are on your toes. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Knees to the side and exhale, three more. Inhale, open the heart, look up. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now bring the toes on the floor, feet flat, feet flat on the floor. Grab opposite elbows, bend the knees. Rest your chest on the thighs and come into your right ball pose. You can sway from side to side. Now bring your hands on the floor. Make a big circles to the side with your arms. Inhale, open slowly, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, your arms up. And exhale, inch from the hips, fall forward. Again, big circle with the arms. Inhale, open, bring your hips forward. You can gently back bend. And exhale, open the heart, cactus your arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, fall forward, inch from the hips. One last time. Inhale, big circle with the arms. Exhale, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades, inhale your arms up, and exhale, hands to the heart, and release. Now open your legs a little bit wider, both arms on your side. Now reach the, right, reach the right arm up, and inhale here, and when you exhale, you bend to the side, so your hips, go towards the right and your arm go to the left and your left arm slides alongside the left leg. Open your heart towards the ceiling 
and breathe. Feel a nice stretch on the right side. Now squeeze them and inhale both arms up. Release the right arm. Inhale, elongate the left towards the ceiling. And when you exhale, the hips towards the left, the arm towards the right. Open your chest towards the ceiling and breathe. Now squeeze the belly. Inhale, both arms up and exhale, release. Well done. Now come to the front of the mat. Come into your mountain pose. So bring your feet together, lift your kneecaps, engage your quad. The butt is not sticking out, but belly is forward, tailbone down. Roll your shoulders back, bring your hands to your chest. Close your eyes for a moment. Maybe here, checking with your heart again. Acknowledge your presence on the mat. Feel yourself grounded through the feet. And imagine there is a thread coming down the ceiling, elongating your spine. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Now open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up. Find a gentle back bend here. And exhale, fall forward, hinging from the hips. Inhale, look halfway up with a flat back. Now bend the knees so your hands can be flat on the floor. Bring the right foot and the left foot back for your high plank. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your bum. You can always put the knees on the floor if you can't hold a high plank. It's absolutely fine. If you can, come back to a high plank. We stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Now knees on the floor, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows towards the rib cage. Chin on the floor, chest on the floor, tailbone is lifted. Now slide your legs, press on your hands and gently inhale for the first cobra. It doesn't have to be a high cobra, you can keep a gentle bend in the knees. Imagine you have a pen between the shoulder blades that you want to squeeze and your heart is lifted. Now tuck the toes, press on your hands, exhale and come into downward dog. It's the first downward dog of the day or maybe not. So you can walk the dog, loosening up the arm string. You can lift your knees one after the other. Move your hips. Find any movement that feels comfortable. Make sure that your neck is loose, that you don't have any tension here. Now look between your hands. Bring the right foot and the left foot forward. Inhale with your flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Big circle with the arms. Inhale all the way up. Gentle back bend. Bring the hips forward. And exhale. Hands to your heart. And again. Inhale all the way up, hips forwards, gentle back bend, and exhale, fall forward. Inhale, look halfway up, hands on the floor, right foot, left foot back, high plank. Let's hold a high plank for three, two, one. Knees on the floor, shift the weight forward, bend the elbows, chin, chest on the floor, tailbone is lifted. Slide the legs, press on your hand, inhale for cobra. Tuck the toes, big exhale, downward dog. Breathe deeply here. Observe any subtle sensations, any movements in the body. Now look between the hands. Right foot, left foot forward. Inhale with a flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Hips forward, back bend, and exhale, hands to your heart. Release the hands. Now bring your feet together, squeeze your thighs together, bend the knees, bring your hips down, and come into your chair pose. Open the heart towards the ceiling, squeeze the belly, squeeze the knees, squeeze the thighs. If you look down, you should see your toes. If 
you don't see your toes, sit a little deeper. Big inhale and exhale. Fold forward. Inhale, look halfway up. Now, hands on the floor, make a big step with the right foot. Find yourself in a long lunge. Make sure that the knee is over the ankle and the back, um, the back heel is lifted. Now, come on the fingertips. Inhale, your arms up. Find your high lunge here. Open the heart. Inhale. Exhale, hands on the floor. You can always bring the right knee on the floor if needed. Otherwise, keep it lifted. Right hand flat on the floor. Inhale, the left arm up, opening the heart towards the ceiling. Press on your hands. Don't collapse the shoulders in the ears. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand on the floor. Left foot knee, the right foot. And here you can exhale all the way down on your belly. Bring the hands under the shoulder, press on your hands. The top of the feet is flat on the floor, legs are together. Inhale, peel your chest away from the floor. Inhale here. On the exhale, look towards your right foot. Twist your cobra. Inhale in the center. And exhale, look towards your left foot. Inhale, center. And exhale, forehead on the floor. Tuck the toes, press on your hands and on the toes, bring yourself back up to a high plank and exhale, downward dog. Now look between the hands, right foot, left foot forward, inhale with your flat back, exhale, fold, bend the knees, lift your arms up, lift your heart and find your chair pose. Release the shoulders away from the ears, sink your hips low. Inhale here, and exhale, fall forward. Now with the left foot, big step towards the back of the mat. Make sure that your right knee is over the right ankle and your left heel is lifted. Come with your fingertips. Inhale, reach your arms up for a high lunge. And breathe. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hand on the floor. Left hand stays flat. Inhale, open to the right. Right arm towards the ceiling, press on your left hand. Shoulders are stacked, activate your finger. Inhale here. And exhale, right hand on the mat. Right foot knee, the left foot. Let's hold a high plank for three, two, one. Inhale, and on the exhale, bend the elbows and come flat on the floor. Bring the feet, the top of the feet, flat on the floor. Now bring your, your hands over your bum, interlace the fingers. Press the pelvic floor on the, on the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades, start to extend the arm. Inhale, peel your chest off the floor, lift your legs, point in the toes. And open your heart and look up. With every inhale, maybe you can lift a little higher. Inhale, and exhale, slowly release. Turn your, your head to the left. You can rest your arms alongside the body. Observe your breath here. Observe what's going on. Now bring your hands back on the bum, interlace the fingers, forehead on the floor. And we'll do this one more time. Legs together, press the top of the feet on the floor. Pubic bone pressing on the mat. Inhale, peel your chest off the floor. Lift your legs, look up for lotus pose. With every inhale, maybe you can lift a little higher. Big inhale and exhale, gently release. And turn your head on the other side, releasing the, the arms alongside the body. You can say hi to Mia. Hi Mia. Now bring the forehead back on the floor, your arms right underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, press on your hands and on your toes, lift yourself back up to a high plank 
and exhale, downward dog. Look between the hands, right foot and left foot forward. Inhale with a flat back and exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up and exhale, hands to your heart. Now come on your tippy toes and start to bend the knees. Stay on your toes. You can find a, a focal point in front of you, it's called a drishti, so you keep balance. Now see if you can bring your feet flat on the floor and see if you can hug your knees and round the head in the, in the top of the knees. Stay here for a moment. And then gently come to sit in. So we're going to deeper back bends, but for that we need to have strong core. So we do a bit of my favorite boat pose, Navasana. My students know I love it. So bring, uh, bend your knees, bring your hands, slide your hands uh, behind the thighs, open your heart, gently squeeze the shoulder blades. Again, imagine you have a pen there that you want to, that you want to hold with your shoulder blades. Start to inch forward, find that sweet spot of balance on your tailbone, and lift your calf muscles off the floor. Calf muscles are parallel to the floor. You can stay here, or you can release the arms with the pinky finger facing down, an open chest, a flat back. And you really want to squeeze the navel to the spine, squeeze your belly. You must burn a little bit, or maybe it shift a little bit. We stay here for three, two, one, and release. Good. We'll do this again. And now, if you'd like, you can extend your legs. But if, if that compromises uh, the posture of the spine, just keep your, your knees bent. So again, hinge back, find that sweet spot of balance. Toes are pointing to the front. Release your arms here. And if you want, you can start to extend the legs. But if it means that you are here, no. I mean, stay here. That's really perfect. But you have the option to extend the legs. And we stay here for three. Smile, relax your face. Two, one, and down. Very good. Now extend your arms forward and gently unroll the spine on the mat with control, elegance and grace. And down. Good. Bring your arms flat to the floor with the palm facing down and extend your legs towards the ceiling. Make sure that the head, the spine and the neck are, the head, the neck and the spine are aligned. And here, I really want you to focus all your attention on the lower back. So you can close the gap between the back and the floor. So really squeeze the lower back. Bring all your focus there. Inhale here. And on the exhale, bring the left leg towards the floor. It hovers and you inhale back. Exhale the right leg towards the floor. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left leg down. Squeeze the belly. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. It was the left one. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, left leg down. Keep squeezing. Inhale, up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, up. Exhale, left leg down. Keep squeezing. Inhale, up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right leg down. Inhale, right leg up. One more time. Exhale, right down. Inhale, up. Exhale, left down. Inhale, up. And bring the knees to the chest and release. Well done. Good. Now slide your, your hands behind the thighs. And here, roll on your spine. From the bottom of the neck to the tailbone, you can roll on the spine five times, massaging the lower back, and then you can come.
come to CT. Good. And from a seated position, let's see if we can if we can transition on our body. So bring the hands flat on the floor. Lift your start to lift your bum. Bring the right foot back, the left foot back, and find yourself in a high plank. Good. And if you don't manage that, it's absolutely absolutely fine. Now inhale here. And on the exhale, bend the elbows and find yourself flat on the belly. All right. Bring the hands towards the back with the palm facing forward, top of the feet flat on the floor, your legs together, your bum squeeze and the pelvic floor on the mat. Now on an inhale, peel your chest off the floor, lift the thighs, lift the legs, squeeze the shoulder blades and look up, opening the heart. And every time you inhale, maybe you can lift a little higher. Now, big inhale. And exhale, release. Turn your little head to the right. And rest here for a moment. Observing. Now bring the forehead back on the floor and now extend your arms to the front. Again with the pinky finger facing down. Squeeze your legs together, top of the feet together, press the pubic floor on the floor. Inhale, lift your arms up, lift your legs. Inhale here, exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, arms forward, exhale, cactus, inhale, and exhale, down. Bring your arms alongside the body, turn your head to the left, and rest. Alright, now let's go to bow pose. So bend the, and bend the knees and place one foot in each hand. Keep your knees together. Maybe you wanna, maybe what you can do is just look at me, do it for the first time, and then we'll do it one more, we'll do it together. So I start with the forehead on the floor, shoulder blade squeeze, and I start to press my feet in the hands. I inhale, lift the knees off the floor, press the feet in the hands, I feel a nice stretch in the shoulders. And here I lift the heart, lift my gaze towards the ceiling. And as I breathe, I can actually massage my abdominal organs, good for digestion. And I keep pressing my feet in my hands. Inhale. And exhale. Gently release. Release the legs. And we'll do this one more time in a second. Observe any subtle sensations, any subtle movements. And again, forehead on the floor, bring your legs together, bend the knees and place one foot in each hand. Make sure you don't open the knees, start to squeeze the shoulder blades. On an inhale, press your feet in your hand, start by lifting the thighs, Lift the chest, bring the toes towards the ceiling and breathe. It's a deep back bend. Listen to your body, listen to your practice. Inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Relax the feet and turn your head to the left. Close the eyes and experience whatever you have to experience here. Now bring your hands under your shoulders and from here we press ourselves back to a child's pose. So press on your hands, bring your hips towards your heels and here feel a nice stretch in the lower back. You can bring the hand towards the feet and breathe. Now 
gently rise your torso up, sitting on your heels, bring your back towards the right, and shift your legs forward. Bring your hands to the side. You can slightly separate the legs, the toes, the feet are activated. Inhale your arms up, and exhale, fold forward. So the idea when you fold forward is to close the, the gap between the thighs and the chest. So even if you're here, it's fine, as long as you don't wrong the spine. Keep an open spine, an open heart, open chest. We we'll just stay here for a moment, counterposing the first back bends. When you inhale, you can slightly lift the chest. And when you exhale, maybe you have more space to fold. Now inhale, look halfway up, and exhale, release. Bring your feet flat on the floor, come more forward, more forward to the front of the mat, arm extended, and slowly with grace and elegance again, opening the heart, and for the spine on the mat. Good. From here, we'll take two bridge balls, and then we'll take wheel, and if wheel is not in your practice, you can continue with the bridge pose. So make sure that your feet are parallel, that you can touch your heels with the finger with your fingertips. Align your head, your neck, your tailbone, your tailbone and your spine. And from here, just follow my voice. Don't look at the at your computer screen or at your um, well at your screen anymore. So press on your feet. Press on your hands, inhale, lift your hips towards the ceiling. Imagine you have a block between your thighs that you squeeze together. Now you can interlace the fingers behind the back. Roll your shoulders under the back for chest expansion. Press your hands on the floor, keep pressing on your feet. And breathe. Keep the chin away from the chest. I'm here. Big inhale. Exhale, release the shoulders, release the arms, and roll the spine on the mat. Bring your knees to the chest and give them a big hug, releasing the lower back. And bring your feet flat on the floor again. Now make sure you have the right alignment, feet parallel. Knees don't open to the side, but they are parallel to each other. Your fingertips can touch your heels. Now press on your heels, on your hands. Inhale, lift your hips towards the ceiling. Interlace the fingers. Roll your shoulders under the hips, under the, the back, sorry. And keep lifting your hips towards the ceiling. Now, if you want here, press on your left foot and lift your right leg towards the ceiling. You really want to squeeze the left bum and keep pressing on the left foot. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, release the right foot on the floor. Press on the right foot. Inhale, the left foot towards the ceiling. Squeezing the right butt cheek. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, left foot on the floor. Inhale, press one more time to lift higher. And the exhale, release the shoulders, release the arms, the back on the floor, and hug your knees to your chest. So from here, we'll go to a wheel pause. So if that's not in your practice, or if you're not comfortable, you can just do one more bridge. And if you want first, you can look at me demonstrating, and then we'll do it one more time together. So here you want to bring the fingers towards the shoulders so your elbows are lifted towards the ceiling. Don't open your elbows to the side. Keep your elbows together. Press on your hands, press on your feet. You really want to you really want to press yourself here. So inhale, press yourself, bring your the crown of the head on the floor. You can stay here if you want, if that's enough, or you can press even more and come higher and your wheel balls. Here you can start to gently straighten the legs if you want, bringing the chest forward. 
Keep breathing. Keep pressing on your hands. To come out of the pose, start to bend the elbows, tuck the chin in, crown of the head on the floor, and roll the back very gently. Bring the knees to the chest, and massage your back from side to side. And we can do it one more time together. So bring your feet flat on the floor. Make sure you can touch the heels with your fingertips. Now flip your hands and bring the fingertips towards the shoulders. Don't open the elbows to the side. Keep your elbows in. Now press on your hands. Inhale, press on your feet as well. And lift up for your wheel Squeeze your bum here. Lift your heart. And you can gently, if you want to, start to play around. Straightening your legs. Bringing your chest towards the back of the mat. And then gently, when you want to come out of the pose, bend the elbows, tuck the chin in, crawl up the head on the floor, gently unroll your spine, and bring your knees to the chest. And you can roll here from side to side, very gently. Nice. And release. Good. From here, we take a shoulder stand and a curl pose. So extend your legs flat on the mat, so you are on your back, aligned, hands facing down. Now lift your legs 90 degrees from the floor, pointing towards the ceiling. Show a shoulder stand, it's all the way on the shoulders. Now press on your hands, lift your bum, and see if you can bring your hands towards the upper back. So you can roll on your shoulders. Keep the chin away from the chest and by no means move the neck. And stay here. Breathing. These balls are really good to calm the nervous system. They're good for concentration. You have all the blood flow towards the brain. And then you know it's an inversion. You can see life upside down. Have another outlook, another perspective. From here, if you'd like, very gently, you can bring the toes towards the back of the head for blood pose, halasana. And I'm going to tuck my shirt in. <laughs> so you can release the arms on the mat or you can bring the arms towards the feet. Whatever you decide here. Don't move the neck, that's all I'm asking. And now here, if you want to experiment, you can bend the knees and bring the knees on each side of the ears or the temple, and you can gently squeeze them. It's a very elegant pose. Hmm. Now bring your hands back on your back. Keep your thighs in contact with the chest and start to gently unroll the back on the mat very gently. Keep contact with the, with the thighs and the chest. Good. Now bring your feet on the floor. Extend your legs. And here we have to counterpose with fish pose. So legs together. Slide your hands underneath the bum. And the arms are slightly under the back. Press on the elbows. Arch the back. Lift your heart. And bring the crown of the head on the floor. And that's for the neck. If you want, you can lift your leg off the floor, but that's absolutely optional. Inhale, exhale, release, gently release the back, release the arms, and bring your knees to the chest one last time. Now keep the right knee hugged towards the chest, hold it with both hands, and extend the left leg, the left leg on the floor. Release the right hand on the floor, 90 degrees from the body, and with your left hand, bring the right knee across and over, and you gaze towards the right hand. So knees towards the left, and gaze towards the right. Oof, and maybe you can have a crack here. Oh, that feels good. 
and breathe. Squeeze the belly, bring the knee back to the center, give it one squeeze for the hip flexors, and release the right leg, bring the left knee towards the chest and squeeze. Extend the left arm on the floor, and with the right hand, bring your knee towards the right, and you gaze towards the left, Oopsie. and maybe here again you can Feel a nice crack in the back. And breathe. We have a full spinal twist here, so you really want to breathe deeply. Now squeeze the belly, bring the knee back to the, to the chest. One last squeeze and extend both legs on the floor and you can settle for Shavasana with your legs open as wide as the mat your arms slightly separated from the, back of, from the body with the palms facing up and you can take three deep breaths here three slow deep breaths Come back to a gentle breathing. And bring your attention to your heart center. Bring your attention to your chest rising and falling as you gently and softly breathe. next few minutes, try to stay anchored in this present moment, in the here and now, following the flow of the breath. And as you sink into relaxation, your body melts into the floor, completely heavy. While you stay present with every breath in and every breath out. Can gently bring your attention back to the room, back to your surroundings. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes. You can make small rotations with the anchors in the wrist in one direction 
and then the other. You can turn your head from one side to the other. Extend your arms behind the head and inhale and stretch. Opening the front side of the body again, you can yawn. Mm. And in your own time, when you're ready, bring the knees to the chest. And gently fall on the left side, the side of the heart. Finding the fitted position here. And here, maybe you can think of everything you're grateful for in your life at the moment. It's a difficult time, but we have so many things to be grateful for, and it's important to keep them in mind. So take a moment here to bring these people, these things, the situation that you're grateful for. Yeah. Well, you can be grateful for your body for allowing you to do yoga. And you can also be grateful to yourself for making the time to be on your mat today, taking care of your body and your mind. Now, pressing your right hand on the floor, you can press yourself back to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed. Finding a gentle lift in your heart. Feeling the flow of the breath, going back to a vertical position. You can bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart. And together, to close the practice, we'll chant the peace mantra Aum, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can start by exhaling all the air. Now inhale deeply to chant. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Inhale and exhale. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your word, peace in your heart, and peace in your home. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today, beautiful yogis. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening, and I will see you tomorrow.